Now, I will tell you this. I'm not that other package. I do like how they package this. Because they laid it out so you can see what it is. Very little packaging. You know, it's not like overuse of it. You know, I like that sort of thing. And nothing worse than buying like a present. Particularly if you got like, you know, your private trash can. And you open up a present and there's this huge, massive box. And you look inside and it'd be something this small. But it'd be like a refrigerator size box. Now how the hell am I supposed to dispose of this box? Anyway. See what we got here. See this is how it is. And the box is actually just thick. Basically thick. Um I got crayons. Uh glitter glue. Yeah, glitter glue. Markers. Uh what's it say? Stickers, which is these are stickers, stencils is this stuff right here. Uh, a coloring pen, yeah. Oh, these are stamp markers, stamper markers. Okay, so that's what I got with this. I'm gonna open this up and put all this in there and take these bots to the uh. Recycling place. I have to separate it, you know. So it's half of this is plastic, half is paper. So anyway, that's the review of it. Um, purses or I should do the purses, shouldn't I? My room has no room. My room. My bed has literally no room <laughs> for the stuff I'm doing the reviews. Reviews about. Um, what? So there it is. It's always good to keep a knife, a scissors, and a crap load of batteries. Because around this time of year, everything uses it. Everything needs it. Anyway, this is the purple one. Look it up. It's uh, like a design on this side. Move this out of the way. I don't know if you can see it like this. Uh, turn around, it's actually like a quilted. It's got this chain handle. Um, got this in it. See the inside there? There's a zipped up pocket and like a cell phone and some other sort of pocket. It's kind of hard to tell. Mm -hmm. But it does zip up, which is great. It's got a little place right here. I never get that whole concept. Why would you have that big opening? And then I looked at magazines, uh, online pictures of it. And it turns out women will put those, uh, like, soda bottles and, um, you know, mini umbrellas in it. So, yeah, you would need that open. This is the other one. Ow. This is not. Um, this is not real crocodile skin, rattlesnake skin. I don't. I don't. I try not to buy animal-made products. I try. I don't buy furs and stuff like that. But I try not to buy animal-made products. But I do. Um, but every so often for something like shoes I need something durable so I can't risk the little plastic when I get that but I stick to my sneakers you know, I can't be 100% sure that the sneakers are not made of an animal product because you know, I don't know what the hell is in it but uh, anyway this is this it's a little short handle a tote bag they both got that big bottom where they can stand well, stand up, so to speak. Because they will topple over. 
it snaps like right here on the inside and ooh, see how big that inside is the Selka package and it's just like a big old tote bag in here and it felt like it made out of the same material as a umbrella the inside does but it snaps shut so it's cute and you, if you go around long enough, you can find those little metal snap wallets I was talking about that actually look like this. So if you were buying this for somebody, you buy them a little wallet. You're like, here, Grandma, here's your big old purse. What a matching wallet. So anyway, that's what that looks like. And uh, I'm going to go and upload these three videos.